joining me today. So um, you're going to notice something a little different in this video. Um, my camera doesn't seem to want to cooperate with OBS lately. So unfortunately, I had to do this video this way. Um, I'm still going to be putting out the weekly Let's Play of the game. So that is still going to happen every Friday at 7 p.m. like it usually does. So that that won't change. But until I sort out what's happening with my camera, uh, I will not be posting my little intro like I normally do and stuff like that. I'll just talk you through the game as I play going forward until I get this issue sorted. Um, the issue being is that I'm on fire. Oh shit. Uh, the issue being is that every time I turn on OBS, it adjusts uh, and then I, oh, then I go in game it changes all my color and setting preferences. So it completely washes out all the color that's basically on me, not in game, but on me. Um, so, I mean, I could still put out the content, so that's not an issue. So like I said, look forward to this still every Friday at 7 p.m. The Coffee and Cannoli podcast is not affected by it, so I will still be posting that video podcast. But other than that, there's uh, not much else I can do until I get this uh, problem sorted. The camera I use is a Logitech C922, which is a really good camera. So I don't see what the issue is. Um, I do have a Canon G9X, and I will be getting a uh, capture card. So, yeah, so I will be getting a capture card. So I'm going to try doing that way. And I think this guy wants to talk to me, so... Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects, priceless artifacts. Don't mind me while I drink coffee. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit. These I items know. do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their God. I'm sure it does. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. What about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfdan the Black wore when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Baron wore the night he was killed. Eh? Oh, they know each other. I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chut pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran. Coward. I should cut you down. No! It's I did no harm. I will judge that. Where did it go? Now. Oh shit, he sees me, okay. In that case. Oh damn, son. Probably back at a store. Oh, 
I wonder where he went. Let's see the map. He's around here somewhere. Can I ride the donkey? Where'd he go? Hmm. Interesting. He's gone. Oh well. That's case. I'm just gonna head back to my boat. I'm just gonna head back to my boat and continue the story. Can I take the boat? No. Can't steal the boat. Oh, just like in uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue, the cold water hurts you. Okay, good to know. As I make my way back to my boat. Make my way back to the boat, continue on with the story. But yeah, so like I was saying, as I make my way back to my boat... Um, there's something going on with my webcam and my OBS. So when I record just straight up video without any gameplay running in the background, my colors are fine. Everything is fine. Like when I record my podcast, I record my podcast via Zoom and the colors don't wash out. They're fine. But for some reason, every time I open up gameplay, the color washes out completely. It gives me these awful, awful, like oversaturated, overexposed colors, over bright colors. The balance is all off. So until I, like I said, until I figure out that problem, this is going to be the way I'm going to be playing the games um, for the next little while. Like I said, I'm still going to put out that content for you guys. Um, but yeah, until then, this is what I will be doing. So as we head back onto my long ship. We follow the path that is set before us. And away we go. Let's open up the sail. As we head on over towards our next destination. It looks like a lighthouse on the outpost over here. That's probably that. Uh, Hervik shipyard. Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying at home. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. I think so. Let's make our way. Ah, there we go. Let's start a raid. Alright. This looks like fun. Ooh, nice decapitation there. Oh, another decapitation. Very nice. Is that it? I need some food.
Ah, there we go. Some nourishment over here. Ooh, a bird cage. What am I going to do with the bird cage? I don't know, but I will probably sell it. There's probably treasure in this building. It's pillage. Nice. The bone biter. Raid completed. And your father smelled of elderberries. That was fun. It's like those, uh, like in Black Flag when you used to do those raid missions. Open up and head on out. Sail. Come on, open the sail. I want to hear a song. I bet he will. Am I going in the right direction? Yes, I am. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. I agree. Sing me a song. I asked for a song. Why does anyone want to give me a song? All right. But yeah, like I said, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna do the, uh, I'm still doing the podcast every Tuesday as well. So that is still a thing. King will scold you for out against his wishes. But I don't care what the king says. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe. And That's right. Into the trees. As we approach, I think we're approaching our. Yep. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked your fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. We did. Where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a troll? Will that be part of no. the saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. So the controls are very similar to like boat controls that are, I'm guessing, are like Black Flag. Where you approach a dock, yep. And you just press Y to dock. Oh, yep. Yeah. Very similar to Black Flag. Fornberg. Friendly face. Well, well. The feather of Raven. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always. Ah, she looks like the Mistios from uh, the last Assassin's Creed game. Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. I expected nothing less. He returned from his raids. My husband should be home today. The last we heard he was approaching Stavanger. Good to oh, it's her husband. We have need of his courage. Sigurd the guy who saved me. From his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? 
They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. It may have to. All right. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after seventeen winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Hmm. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies, of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the longhouse. Cool. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Alright. So the quest is complete. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Okay, Yoda. Mm, looking rough you are. Check out my inventory because I got a new. The Bone Biter. Ah, makes sense now. Okay. Let's open up the skill tree. Yeah, same as always. Oh, is it like constellations? That's kind of cool. Okay. Ooh, what's this one? He's off by himself. Well, I need some melee damage. For sure. Will they resist? No, but hmm, no. Range damage. Let's get the melee resist. I don't have any abilities yet, but let's do some range damage here and increase my health. There we go. I always put into health every time I uh, start out a game. Oh, you can actually control the camera angle in cutscenes. That's pretty cool. I like the patient for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. I wonder if there's a way maybe to change like hair and stuff like that. Because Is there no one who will go around with me? Sure. Alright, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Even though I don't drink. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Sure. Even though I don't drink. Okay. QTE minigame. Ooh, there he act.
I gotta focus on this. Whoops. Hey, I won. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Sure. Plan will never prosper while plan battles plan. Well, look who it is. Was this dandelion? Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry. Sounds Irish. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Sure. Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. Sure. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. Uh, with your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger. Uh, I recall what you've taught ere I enter the fray. I'll recall what you taught sure. ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Uh, no. Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. Matched. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So sure. go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. That I one. I flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes. <laughs> Rick Flair. Woo! Me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding. You're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Aldous. I like I'll this guy. The lesson to heart. Nice. I like this guy. He is a funny guy. Okay, this is the guy that's going to fix my axe. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar. That's a Gunnar. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the helm. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? Perfect. The fates have willed it so. Appreciate it. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. Metal. I cannot forge them from empty air. So I'm gonna fix my father's axe. Very nice. Perfect. That should do it. Anything else? I think that'd be all. How are you, Guna? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, 
five weeks. Oh, Jesus, five weeks. Five beautiful, passionate. I thought it was like 20 years or something like that. Five weeks, dude. Come on. Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Kuna. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Duh. Let me see what you offer. Hmm. He's got some stuff that I could use. Okay, so these just, it's just upgrading stuff. Okay, I think we're good for now. Need anything else? Wait, actually, uh, let me let me improve my uh, my armor set here. Yeah, I need to improve my armor set now. It's a bronze color, so. Ooh. Do you need anything else? I think that's all. I'm done here. That's all for now. Return anytime. Thanks, buddy. Not yet. I still gotta do all these little green arrow dot things here. Hmm. Who's this lady? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Well, there's a side quest I've picked up now. As I jump over the chasm over here, let's see what this guy has to offer me. Why are you walking away from me? Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. I don't want tattoos, though. Go ahead. Ah, and Barber. There we go. Can I remove it? Yes, I can. Good. I know tattoos are big in Viking lore, but I don't have tattoos, and I like to create my characters similar to what I look like, so. I like this beard. But the hair. Let's keep. Oh, yeah, that's a good look for him. I like that look. Okay. Let's keep that look. Is there something else? That's everything. Sure. Now I got my character looking the way I want to look him. I like customizing my characters, so. Not yet. Not today. Maybe later. I don't feel like playing Guys dice games. Throw themselves, you know. I don't want to play games. There's one last green arrow over here before I continue on with the mission. Zoe, I'm guessing these are like little arrows. tutorial missions. Ava, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. Well, that's just right See in the neck. Standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Let's get a headshot on this one. The arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. 
Scared the shit out of everybody. I love it. Why? I did everything. Hello. Okay, we'll collect this mission and then I think we may be calling it a day from here. My buddy's wife over here. It must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Now what? Okay. Quest. What's changed in my inventory? Ooh. Oh, right. Because I have the Ubisoft. Yes. Right. Because I got... I have. Fifty four, forty five. Let's go with the bone biter. What just happened there? Well, oh, it's two handed. I don't want two handed. two-handed axe as well. So let's go with my father's axe. So this way I can equip a shield. Cool. Right, because I got... Because I got UB+. Plus. Okay, that's right. I got a cool bow and... Oh, I, at least, I could have given at least a bow and arrow, but yeah, look at that. Yeah, my guy looks badass. Nice. Time to climb the mountain. Nice. Can I change my horse too? My mount. No, I cannot. Nice. Idrisil. No, Idrisil? No. Forgot the name of the... Okay, he can't make it past up here, so I'm going to go on my own. Like we do in every Assassin's Creed game. Climb the mountains. There we go. Where am I in terms of the map? Let's go there. This way I can sink that point. I'm 
Lots of stuff to loot. Kind of cool. I really like the aesthetic of the game. You can hear, I like the, f the fact that you hear like his armor rattling and stuff like that. That's a really cool feature. Like a nice touch. Like it's little things sometimes in games that make it worth playing, right? So. As we make our way up to the sink point over here. How much further do I have to go? Oh, there it is. I see it off in the distance. But that's not the point right there. Wow, this is... I'm guessing it's that mountain peak right at the far distance, out in the distance over there. You can hear his shield, like, rattling against his armor. Almost there. We're making it. We're gonna make it. He's slow. I gotta increase his speed somehow. Is that a puffin or something? Come on. Up you go. Can I not climb over the ice here? Maybe I can. Come on. Up we go. That's a cool visual. And let's sink. I always love it when Assassin's Creed games do this. It gives you the whole world view. It looks really, really cool. Oh yeah, look at that. And then it reveals everything for you. See? Really cool. See, I'm almost... I'm going to discover the entire world over here before we head on a... Before we complete our main adventure, obviously. Now we can fast travel to certain points. I can fast travel to Fornberg. I can fast travel here. So it's like, now I'm opening up the world a little bit more. The story's opening up. And how far is it to the hut? Come on. Down you go. My hoss. There we go. Okay, it's not that far from the hut. Is it? Let's call the horse again. Where'd he go? So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That explains some things. Ivan, wake up! Huh? You will be cast into the wild. Is he like sleepwalking? Is he walking in his sleep? Hmm. They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. Must 
not fall asleep. Okay. Need to see them coming. What I will do then is to see the conclusion of this story. You're going to have to tune in next week. So we're going to find out what this guy's up to and what his thing is all about. And uh, other than that, uh, thanks guys again for joining me. Unfortunately, like I said, there's going to be no video for the next little while. I'll still put out the Let's Plays, but unfortunately for now, this is where this is the type of content I'll be putting out. The Coffee and Cannoli podcast will still be out every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on this channel as well. Uh, join me on RLG Cast and on uh, Putty Man's This Is Podcast as well. I do guest appearances on those as well. So look for me on those platforms. All the links will be in this video here. There's a playlist that'll be right there um, in the bottom corner. Uh, follow me on all my socials. Um, Instagram is Johnny Donuts Triple Seven, same as my YouTube. Um, I just started a Discord server. If you go to my Instagram, follow my link tree. All the links to all my stuff will be there as well. Uh, my Instagram Johnny Donuts Triple Seven. Like I said, started a Discord server. Join me on there. We can chat. We can have fun. We can hang out. Uh, you know that kind of stuff. And other than that, guys, thanks again for joining me. And keep on gaming. <laughs>